Hey everybody, this is the Esoteric Cross. I started this channel because I'm learning new things every day, and I just love sharing the new ideas that I learn. Researching the occult has been a deep passion of mine for many years. I encourage people to do their own research and come to their own opinions. With that being said, this is a channel of love and light. Esotericism, by definition, is about secret knowledge for a small group of people. Esotericism also describes mystical, spiritual, or occult viewpoints. Esotericism studies Gnosticism, yoga, alchemy, magic, spiritualism, hypnosis, astrology, meditation, mysticism, and occultism. If you ask the average person what the first thing they think of when they hear the word occult, they would probably say evil. This is not actually what occult means. Occult comes from the Latin verb occultare, which means to conceal, to secrete, to hide. In astrology, an occultation happens when a planetary body or object is hidden by another when it is passing through between the observer and the planetary body. The occult is essentially a broad term to cover all of the bases where there is hidden knowledge. This includes Freemasonry, tarot, the Kabbalah, are you seeing a theme here? Hint, it's the pillars. Now I just want to talk for a moment about why I think there is something to esoteric practices. Esoteric knowledge has been occulted or hidden in mystery schools, secret societies, and in the teachings and practices of religions. The same symbols, the same stories, with minor variations, the same philosophies and ideas can be traced as far back as ancient Sumer, and some people will even argue before then. One easy example that I'm going to give is a reoccurring theme of the Divine Feminine. She can be personified as Isis, Virgo, the Virgin. Today, she is commonly personified as Mary. In ancient Sumer, she was personified as Inanna, and the Babylonians worshipped her as Ishtar. This divine feminine can also be personified as Columbia, which can be referred to as the goddess of the United States. This appears as no coincidence that the District of Columbia is right between the states of Virginia and Maryland. D.C. is the District of the Goddess. Now remember how I was saying how all of the mysteries have something in common? Yep, it's these pillars. They represent the masculine and feminine aspects of our consciousness. The masculine, the left side of our brain, deals with the analytical tasks of life. This is where we govern our reasoning, logic, and processes. The right side of our brain handles our emotions, intuition, creativity, music. This is our feminine brain. It is through the balance of the two that we are able to see, taste, smell, feel, hear, and then process this world. There is a known axiom in esotericism that states, as above, so below. Just like we have these two opposite forces within us that work together to create a balance, the universe is the same way. One way that we can understand God or our source is to understand ourselves. In the Bible, God said, let us make man in our image. In the ancient Sumerian text, it states that Enki had a god put to death so that his body and blood would be mixed with clay, creating man in the image of the gods. In the Kabbalah, an ancient form of Jewish mysticism, we often see the diagram of the tree of life. This represents the flow of God's light into our world through these emanations called sephirot. The top is Keter, which I associate with the perfectness of God. In the Zohar, it is described as the most hidden of all things. And thus, 
us in our physical form will never know it. God filters through reality all the way down to Malkuth, which is made up of everything physical in the universe. Just like God, we have the tree of life within us. Different chakras or energy centers in our bodies can be associated with the sephirot. I think the main key here is that we are a part of God living through this physical form in order to experience. It is in my opinion that this is the case and that we have government over ourselves. We can manifest and create our reality. It is not until we realize what we truly are will we be able to harness the full power of what we can really do. Esotericism blankets the art of doing just that. I'm excited to get more into the subconscious mind and how we manifest and create our reality. Please hit the like button and subscribe. Leave a comment if you think this channel is something that is for you. I'm planning to do videos dealing with energy work, magic, numerology, sacred geometry, and even tarot readings. So if that is for you, then let me know. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time.